Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Kara. Today I am here with a Top 5 Wednesday video. Top 5 Wednesday was created by Lainey from Ginger Reads Lainey and is currently being run by Sam from Thoughts on Tomes, whom I will link down below. This week's topic is problematic faves, or characters who you shouldn't like, but you kind of love. Number 5 on my list is Howl from Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne-Jones. Now, Howl is whiny and selfish and vain, and he never cares about anybody except himself, which should lead to a completely irritating, unlikable character. But he has some saving graces. He's really funny, and he's occasionally incredibly compassionate for people who would never be able to repay him. And the whole situation with Calcifer, and all of these good personality traits that he does have, they're just buried under a layer of irritating. <laughs> mean that maybe I shouldn't love him, but he's kind of a squishy teddy bear inside, so I kind of do. Number four on my list is China Sorrows from the Skullduggery Pleasant series by Derek Landy. So when I was starting to read this series, I really enjoyed the first maybe three books, and China was one of my absolute favorite characters. And then as the series went on, and I started enjoying the books less and less, she pretty much became my only reason for continuing with the series. I still haven't read the last book, but I've read eight of them, and most of the reason is because of China Sorrows and of how much I love her. China is basically just a boss-ass bitch. She has a massive library that she loves more than most people. She has killer fashion sense, she's always ready with a scathing remark. The reason she's kind of problematic is she's done some really, really bad things in her past. Things that other characters find it hard to forgive her for. And I understand why they would find this hard to forgive, but as the reader, I can't help but liking her anyway. She's one of those characters where nobody else in the book is ever really sure which side she's on, but I'm just happy every time I get to see her on the page. The scene that really cemented her as my favorite in the series is when somebody compliments her on a green necklace she's wearing. And she says thank you, and that two brave men died for it. At times, I wear it to honor their sacrifice. At other times, because it goes with this skirt. I just, as soon as I read that part, she cemented herself as just an iconic favorite character for me. Number three on my list is Benedict from Much Ado About Nothing by William Shakespeare. My volume of Shakespeare plays is buried somewhere, so I'm going to use Will himself as my visual aid. So, Benedict is more or less a reformed sexist, mostly. You know, he's one of those guys who's proud to be a woman hater at the beginning of the play, and he doesn't need anybody, it's bros before hoes all the way, and women are just foolish creatures who are not worth the trouble. But the reason I still love him is that he's not only witty and charming, but he's impressed when Beatrice takes him down a notch. So he is redeemable, and you get this feeling that the reason he hates women so much, or acts like he does, is that he's sort of afraid of them, which doesn't excuse his behavior, but it kind of adds some sympathy for him so that when he does start to get better, you're excited about it. And a huge plus is that he is one of the only people to believe Hero, and to believe Beatrice about Hero, which is more than I can say for Claudio, who's supposedly in love with Hero. You no, know, actually, Shakespeare himself would also count as a problematic fave. Number two on my list is Eric or the Phantom from The Phantom of the Opera by Gaston Leroux. Now, Eric is problematic, just verging on a villain. You know, he's just, he's not a good person at all, and I'm not saying he is. And I want to make clear that I don't think, I don't think Christine made the wrong decision about Eric. Like, he's really messed up, and he has a completely twisted idea of what loving someone means. And again, not a good person. But I think the reason that I still like him is because he's so bad. Like, we see these awful things he does, but in a way, he's actually really innocent. Like, he's so innocent that he thinks being married he just means that he would take walks in the park with Christine. And even though he's bad, the ending of this book just breaks my heart every time I read it. And besides being a problematic fave, I feel like he's a great example of the fact that reading books can help you feel sympathy for the sufferings of bad people without ever excusing what they do. And finally, number one on my list, the ultimate problematic fave, is Henry Crawford from Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. Okay, so 
This might be a really unpopular opinion, I have no idea, but I love Henry Crawford. He's, I think, my favorite character in the whole novel. This is another situation, very much like The Phantom of the Opera, where I don't necessarily want to change the ending, but I can't imagine the novel without him. You know, he's full of himself and selfish and smug and he has absolutely no consideration for other people, which leads to some truly awful things. But he's also funny and talented and charming, and he's willing to change and become a better person, and he actually does start to. And another thing that I don't know if this is a point in his favor or not, but it's definitely part of the reason that I still like him, is he's the only Austin bad boy who I find believably charming. And I think that's kind of a big deal, because even if you don't want him to win, when you're reading about him, or even from his perspective, you enjoy it because he's so interesting. He's not good, but he's really, really interesting, and that's why he's at the top of my list. Okay, everybody, so those are my top five problematic faves. You guys should let me know down below some of your problematic faves and why you still like them. I will see you guys soon with another video, and I hope you love the next book you read. Bye!